Nakuha kang mga na itong gabi na ito sapagkat tayo po ay nagsasama ay nagsama-sama na ulit. Ngunit, nagkakalungkot po yung nangyayari dito sa paniki. Sapagkat itong paniki ay noon puro po itong mga kawangko. And the kawangko have always been working para sa inyong lahat. Sa mga ninuno ninyo, lagi mo kami nandun. And we were always all together. Ngunit na yun, anong nangyari? Kami ho ay utak-watak na, hindi na ho kami nagkakasama. It's really very sad that this should be happening. Especially today, na nandito ho ang nangyayari kay Doris. Nandito po ako sapagkat ang tanong ko lang, Ninoy and Cory fought for our democracy. Meron ba tayong demokrasya na yon? Wala! Wala! So, ganun ba ang pinaglaban ho namin at yung mga tatay at tanay ninyo? upang makaroon ng demokrasya? Hindi. Ito ba yung matamid na daan? Hindi! That's precisely kung bakit ako yung nandito. We have to appeal to Noy Noy sapagkat if you cannot run your own municipality at ayusin mo itong municipality kung saan dami ang aming mga ninuno, eh paano yung ipapatagbo ang buong, ang buong Pilipinas? Yes! Diba? Everything, charity, honesty, integrity should begin at the home. At ito po ay ang bayan na nagpalaki sa mga kawangko. So this is where Noy Noy should begin. His governance in his own hometown. Baba. Uh, salamat po sa inyo. From the studies na ako po ay pinag-aralan ang kaso ni Doris, There is a grave violation of his rights. Yeah, you can clap, you know, because it is correct. Diba? Kung ito po ay nangyari sa isang mayor and nangyari kay Doors, what more? Pwede itong mangyari sa inyong lahat. Yes! Ipag-protect po ninyo yung inyong karapatan. That is why I am here today. I do not want my own rights violated. Ang sabi sa akin, Mayor Dors, ay pumunta siya sa Comelec. And they gave him a 60-day um, TRO, Temporary Restraining Order. Ngunit yung judge na galing sa Benguet, he did not even obey and respect the Temporary Restraining Order and instead came up with the decision to make somebody else a mayor that had no right to be a mayor sa bagat scientist. Sa bagat, he already, yung baka five days ng kanyang appeal, he did even appeal. It was a different kind of request from the judge, from the judge Cruz. So it had to be dismissed. That is the law. Ibig sabihin, itong gobyerno na ito ay wala, na, ay wala ng batas upang tumulong sa ating lahat. Napakadelikadong buong Pilipinas if a judge cannot even respect another institution. And that institution cannot even come out with honesty in the Picos machine for the election. Then we have a very serious problem. Pinaglaban yung Picos na yan. Sabagat hanggang ngayon, itanong mo sa mga senator, alam ba ninyo kung ilan thousand votes did you win? Nobody will answer you from the interview on the television. At tinatong kay po, can you tell us by how many votes you won? I do not know. Because the safety, the safety guards were removed. The safety guards of getting a resibo, kung sinong binoto mo, ay wala. It was taken away by the Comele. The UV lamp for the ballots to find out whether it is a real ballot, it was taken out. The source code, the code that instructs the Picos machines were removed. No safety guards. Kaya alam ba ninyo kung yung boto ninyo ay binila? O na yun ang sabi ni Judge, the 86% out of the 15 precincts, now the Picos are not functioning properly. That's why we request you, you ask, brillantes to come out. To get the machine, to get the source code, to get the CF cards and proof whether the judge is correct or not, who disrespected the family. Yeah. Yeah. 
the justice cannot be selected. Kung kung saan gusto nila, i-down ang mga mamanyan, i-down nila. Kung saan gusto nila, i-angat, yun. They will make angat. You know, justice for one should be justice for all and the same. Yeah! Dapat pareho mo yan. Para sa inyo, para sa kanya, para sa parkador, sa amin, sa, sa, sa bombero, sa wherever. Sa beggars, sa rich people, there should only be one justice. And if we perceive that anybody can be bought, ang pera po ay papel, but ang integridad ng isang tao ay hindi pwede tanggalin. Ako po ay tagsilbi ng six years sa Tarla. I did everything that a mother could. I did the health services and the children and agriculture for the farmers. Ngunit, you know, in the end of the day, what happened? There was cheating in every election. We cannot allow the cheating to continue. We cannot. Kailangan ibantay natin ng balota. And suppose those ballots were remarked because they were stolen from, from, kasi wala nang luck. Yung mga, yung, yung mga paglalagay ng mga balota na yun, you don't have a luck anymore. You can open it. It's very easy to manipulate that and to cheat. Kaya dapat malaman natin ang total na nangyari dito sa paligid. So, let us talaga request a comment. Yung sabi ng judge, kung aaway silang dalawa, babayaan mo mag-aaway sila. Kung sino yung, yung mananalo, but we cannot be cheated by the judge. We cannot be cheated because of money. Yeah! cheated because of the machines. Kailangan lumabas ang totoo. Now, we really have to work together. Magsama-sama po tayo. We have to maintain this democracy. We have to appeal. If we want a matuwid na daan, now is the chance for us to get that road in order. Paglabanan ho natin ito. Ang dami nagsasabi ay yung daan na matuwid at puro luba. <laughs> so we will appeal. We will appeal to Noy Noy that it is time that he fixes the problem. There was a violation of the rights of Mayor Doors. Yung pagkapasok ng police. police, the fire, and the jail. Ako po nag-train. Hindi yan ang training na dapat. Hindi dapat tutakot sila sa politiko. Yung politiko ay hindi dapat i-influensya yung police para maging masama. Tama! 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 Kaya nagtataka ako. Pero kung kailangan i-file ng kaso ang police, mag-file kami. Tama! into any building. Eh kung gano'n yan, di dapat agad po magkas sa bahay ng, ng COP. Binuksan ko yung bahay niya at sinabi ko sa inyo, dito yung bahay ko na yun. Hindi na bahay mo. Pwede ba? <laughs> Hindi ganyan. Kailangan daan na sa mga handang paraan. Pakiusap. Desente po tayong lahat. Hindi mo dapat ng gano'n. So, ganun. Igagawin ko namin lahat ng paraan. You are protecting us and we will protect you. Kaya kailangan mo pas ang katotohanan dito sa paliki. Hindi ko pwede usurption of position na ginagawa ni David. That is unsafe. Mag-usap.
magbuksan sila ni Doris sabagat he is the regional director. At ano yung mahirap mag-asa sa mga provincial director yeah. na under the politicos. Yeah. Kaya alam yeah. ko sila sabi there should be no uniform personnel under the politicians Tama. because they can be manipulated. Tama. Hindi yung dapat ganon. Kaya we also should appeal to the police. You know, this is not the way the training should be. We are decent people. We expect to be treated with decency, right? So, tandaan po ninyo, tayo po ay sama-sama lahat po dito. Sabagat alam po natin na gusto po namin ay patuwid na daan and no selective justice. We want justice for one, justice for all. Pare-pareho lahat. We need your help. We are... Ang dami po natin tonight, ano, you know, we have to pray also. I'm, I'm very, very happy. You know, we lost Ate Lulu only recently. At nandito po na naman po tayo at pinapaglabanan natin ang demokrasya. You know, Doris has had no time to grieve for his mother. And we're here. You know, I lost my mother also October 20. So, we're both in the same position. But we have to carry on the tradition of the family to serve those, especially those that have less in life. Kaya po, nandito po si Doris, isang kuwang po, isang revilya na gustong tumulong sa inyong lahat. Tulungan po natin para matuloy ang kanyang programa para sa inyong lahat. You cannot, you cannot serve the people if you stand on mud and dirt. And to know that the voice of the people will always be heard. Because the voice of the people is the will of God. So maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.